Here it goes. Moving around on a wet day. So, Carrie Dunn picked up the third link from Princess Auto yesterday. So, these threads in here are coarse thread, and I can now replace these ends individually instead of having to buy a whole link. I think that was $50 from Princess Auto. But this is what we use it for. And now the water trailer can be filled fully. So I'll take that over to the boys this morning. But uh, that's going to be fun to sit on. Anywho, what you up to? Unloading? Yeah. Getting ready to move. Go pick up ram swap today. Yeah. Oh, right. We got to pull a ram out of the boys' pen. It's not just throw. Oh, we're taking a ram out. Okay, so we gotta, well, she's cleaning out market stuff. We have to take this trailer, well, I guess we don't have to because we got the little droppy dealio there, but we need to get, just going over what we gotta get this thing into the van. So I gotta pull this post out because these posts need to be pulled anyways to reset this pin. So, We'll take that over and do all this off camera because it's too wet to be filming too much outside right now. But we're going to be going that way into the burn area to grab Fang and take out who we're calling Manny's son because he looks like a mini Manny. He's going out to breed out there and we're bringing Fang home because he's heading out to Summerland this afternoon. Possibly, so... This is the lamb hauler for the van, so unfortunately I got my junk in the way to get it out this way, so I'll do this later here. So I'm just going to shut this down uh, because it's too wet to have this out too much. I can set it right here. Okay, okay freezer's ready to go. set it over by the axle over there again yeah or yeah the tractor has to come out right do yeah, i just figured we could manhandle it over there yeah a platform for putting the market stuff on so the freezer has a little spot with ties but we'll tie, cover up the freezer here so it's not wet whoa my head how you doing baby and you're off to lee creek lee creek yep uh, we get to go through the firestorm zone fire, the recent I mean, fire, fire one storm. the one in the okanagan so a lot of people won't know about that one because at, Kelowna, at the time um, Kelowna, the city of Kelowna was on fire. Hopefully you guys see this and you can see how bad it actually was for these poor people. So, and some awareness to the North some, Shushwap. Some awareness to the North Shushwap, yes. Because it's still burning out there. One was covered more than the rest. So that's the way it was. So. He gets to go out there and we get to bring home a big guy, right? Yep, and the big guy is going to Summerland. Today sometime. Today sometime. She wanted to be here for noon, but I have got a message that she's on her way. She was building his pen. Oh, him. cool. Okay. Before she left, so... Um, that's that. I were a little bit later leaving, but we had a chance to get our problem coyote, so... We took it. We took it. Oh, okay. 
morning here, everybody. Here you go, boy. Okay, off we go. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, buddy? You're very handsome. What do you think? Go for a ride in the van. You gonna get diesel for us? Looking out the window now. Lots to see. Very handsome boy. Yeah, you're a very good boy. Okay, that was very gentle. That's a finger, huh? <laughs> You're a very good boy. You gonna make good babies? Oof. I think you are gonna make good babies. <laughs> Oof, hey. You're very good. You were never a bottle lamb. You just like to chew on fingers. That's up, yeah, there's fire up there, fire down here. What a lovely spot to do this. Oh, up on that whole hillside is gone. I just took my, oh yeah, that whole hillside is burned too. So this one right here is burned. Uh, actually, everything right beside us here is burned too. So that hillside, that, Right there, right behind here, this whole hillside is burned.
And then this is the field where the forest fire guys were camped, wasn't it? This is where they lost all their stuff, got burnt, right? Yep. They were fighting now. Oh, yeah. yeah, like it's a war zone. Time, so they just had to, they just had to run. They just so the fort, yeah. The, they had no time to go back to get their stuff. They just had to go. And they lost everything. Yeah, the forest fire guys were camped in here and they lost it all. The forest fire fighters? Forest fighter? I don't know. I don't know. Forestry guys that were camped here that were fighting the fires lost everything and because they had all their tents set up in here and when this fire came through it took it all out. Jesus. Did it? So this will all be naked because they'll come in here and probably log all this out yeah. and there'll be not a tree left on here. So what happens when you don't effectively manage your forest and effectively manage our forest fires? Failure on two fronts, right? We can't just plant trees and hope that they'll change the world. We have to manage them. Otherwise we stand to lose them all. Didn't it take like four weeks to put the? F they, they didn't get the line pick up all. No, the we were hauling hay in October and they were pulling lines up still. No, they, some of them lit, got lit over the winter and it wasn't until the following spring that they got picked up. I don't know if that was hydro or talus or what, but there were still lines on the ground. Romeo? Yep. Uh, it's definitely one of Tank's children. Definitely. He's got a nice shed. You're a big boy. Just be sweet while we're going home. Don't try and start nothing because you're way too big. Way big. Just be the sweet boy that you just, apparently yeah. are. <laughs> just, just be sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> trying to get you into the back of the truck might be a little fun. Stopped at gas station. Use the bathroom, get a drink. Okay, stop standing. So there you go. Hi, stay big guy. His daddy was Tank. He was our big sweetheart. Your dad was Tank, right? You guys share the same face. Oops, sorry, I don't know which way. Ugh. This is hard to do today. Oh, I slept in such a way that my broken neck has got not doing well so oh, you're so handsome you know you are all right well that's good so yeah oh. oh so he's off to summerland if carrie didn't already mention that i don't know Ooh, i don't know who his mom was I, Carrie know that too, so I don't know what I'm doing here. It's a standard handsome dude. And he's sweet too, so anyways. Okay. Why don't we put this over here? Hey Romeo. We're gonna go in this. I can just do it with this. Maybe I can do it one handed to help you out. Okay, so you want me to take this and you take him? Yeah. Ooh, uh, sorry. Uh. Okay. Oh, chonky. Hi, handsome. Come on, big boy. Oh, you got a long body on you. Who's his mom? Chris Cross. Oh. Is that. Is he Hobbs' brother? No. Oh. Cassie? Cassie, uh, you might want to leave him alone. Benjamin, please. He's had dogs before, but... You guys don't. It's okay. It's okay, little buddy. Oh, they're just such babies. It's okay, buddy boy. I'm gonna go grab him some. Oh, he's got some eats right here. But he's gotta just get used to the dogs. Why don't you dogs come? Um, come on, dogs. Ben. Come on. Come on, Ben. Why don't you guys go into the shop for now? Come on, go see him. Let's go into the shop for now. Go, 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 go. Let's give Romeo some space here until his ride shows up and he can. Wait. Oh, he hears some. Hey Romeo, there's eats here, buddy. There you go. You should remember eating out of these. Not at all. It was a long, long time ago. You were a little tiny, little tiny. So yeah, and then two more coming out of there, right? To go on the truck. Three out of there. Okay. And they're going off to Summerland. So all right. Good Romeo. He's so handsome. Definitely has got his father's chunk. <laughs> I kind of want to leave mechanic stuff in its own separate videos, but we're out to Little Wet today to take out Fatso. You guys remember Fatso from that video? Um, he's heading out to Little Wet with two girls, um, Squirrely and I want to say Luna are heading out so we're gonna take them out but yesterday when we were out in Lee Creek I uh, started hearing a grinding noise coming from the back end the inside brake pads looked like they were grinding so 
I have new pads and rotors. Um, for those that don't know, so what I might do is I might do uh, flap my gums here about what I'm doing and then just do a quick zoom through on one side and then we will do a separate video. And these brake pads here, this is the new ones. So they squeeze down as the rotor's spinning, so your wheel's spinning, and there's a part attached to the wheel, and then these squeeze and put pressure on, and that squeezing action, and this material right here is a consumable, so this gets used up every time you brake. Um, it's a lot designed to sort of slough off a little bit, so you don't have, um, it's a little bit of a sponge and a little bit of a, uh, you don't tear up the rotor there, but unfortunately when you wear down to this metal piece here, you chew up your rotors. So the insides basically have chewed down to this, but the outside still had probably mm, two, three millimeters left. Cat. So we're gonna quickly change these out. It shouldn't take too long. It should be half an hour, 40 minutes to get that done. I'm just gonna zoom through this. If you wanna see the longer video of how to do brakes, tune in tomorrow or the next day, or the next day. shortly or we will see you guys shortly it's both of us today carrie's doing all the driving and stuff so i just get to come along and look pretty so see you guys in a bit one's fatso oh right here you ready to go make babies my man hey fatso you never thought huh ah. he's such a beautiful boy okay hi fatso one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one, two, three, four. Oh, twelve, yeah. Twelve and then eleven by tonight, and then three are our rams, and that leaves eight for market lambs. Fatso's gonna go make babies. Oh, that guy'd be nice to be a baby maker. You guys are looking good, my boys. Okay. Mm -hmm. with fleecers okay so once the three for Lillouette loaded I'm gonna throw the drill in here we gotta come up with a better oops sorry opening up the back windows to give the mirror and now we just gotta feed these guys so
The littles all in one pile. Oh, oh, there's Fuzzy. Oh, be gentle. Hold is quite gentle. Okay. Oh, there's little. Oh. oh, don't be. That's your daughter. That's why she's being a bitch. <clears throat> Cute face in her daughter, Shade. Yeah. Hey, anyways, we got to get going. We could sit here looking at them all day long, but yep. we got to get these guys out and we'll see you on the road here, right? Yep. On the road, okay. Hi, Squirrely. Fatso, you got out of your hog there? Squirrely, you're so pretty. You guys are going to make a beautiful couple. Triple. Love triangle. Fatso, these are your girlfriends. You are wrapped your halter. Oh, it's okay. Halter's wrapped around, buddy. Can I? Ooh, there we go. There we go. All good. Okay, so Cash Creek stop. We're heading north. Right? Yep. Okie dokie. Whoop. Taco. Taco stand. I don't know yeah, what I'm talking about. This isn't Hills. Desert Hills, is it? Famous that Desert is Desert Hills. Hills. Taco stand. Oh, I didn't know. I thought Desert Hills was back that way. Where Abby worked. Horse things. Gosh, there's so many little cool places around here. Huh. Oh, and then there's the burn up on that hill from the Elephant Hill. Do you know what year that was? 2018? 17. 17. 17 and 21. Because the 21 fire burned into the Elephant Hill fire. Yes. So even if stuff burns, you're not safe. Welcome to... Well, it was Patricia, Paxton Valley. She had 20... 2017. She had 20... Yeah. Oh, there's the, there's the place. So that's Horstings over there. Yes. Okay, that's a very cool place too. Abby worked there, right? Yes. Okay. Coming up on our turn here. We had, we had friends that lived up there on that house on the hill. They are living someplace I don't know now. That's our junction right there. Junction 99, 300. This goes all the way to Lillooet and then from Lillooet you can go to other places. Because every place has some place else you can be. Yeah, that makes sense. Pemberton and Whistler. Oh God, we're not going to either of those. We, <laughs> yeah, fuck that shit. Let's cross the Duffy. <laughs> the Duffy Lake Highway, and that is not pleasant. That's where that van's probably going, and there's no way in hell. No, no. Never Negative. Give. Well, Never again. I would do it in this. I wouldn't do it till in a trailer. I would probably do it in the Jeep over the van. Well, I it's mean, a rough road, and I think the van is too low. Yeah. The truck and the trailer were like all over the road and then the switchbacks and stuff. I'd rather have the Jeep. Yes. Okay. I'd rather I, yeah. I would do it again in the Jeep. Maybe this one coming down, but the Jeep going up. And that road is not pleasant. Not pleasant. So, um coming up on Hat Creek here. Hat Creek somewhere. I don't know very well. Last time I was through here, it was in the dark and I had to hold the headlight switch out on my truck. That's Hat Creek. Very cool tourist ranch thingy. I have not been there in a long, long, possibly ever. Yeah. So long, I can't oh, remember. I, I, Cattle Drive started at this ranch one year that I was on it and that uh, was the I like the jack I fence they got along here. That's nice. So, yeah, the Cattle Drive that I did that... Yeah. Started there. It started at that. Lying down, Fatso and Squirrely, quit fighting. You two need to make bibbis.
Oh, it changes over to gravel? Climb those mountains is the Duffy Lake Road. Um, yeah. yeah, you want to see that? Go do it yourself. Uh, I'll tell you that right now. No yeah. way I'm going that way again. Pretty sure, if you search the Duffy Lake Highway. Yeah, you go through. There's a little oop right through there. There's a road that cuts through that big hill there. Through there, the road goes. Okay, but just stop doing that. Right through there, there's a road goes through there, and then that takes you all the way up. Oh, takes you all the way up that mountain range, or around, and then up and over, and then straight to the coast. of road and you do 700 meters of elevation so basically we just come out of Lytton, Lillouette, shoot, 
It's definitely a CN town, I tell you that. A lot of the buildings here remind me of Blue River. Completely, 100% like being up in Blue River. Big, built around CN. Well, at least where we are here anyways. CN's a little bit real, but we got, one of the breaks I did this morning is squeaking. So either caliper stuck or the e-brakes are too tight and they're dragging. So we need to get home to fix that. There's helicopters over there. So we're gonna head home. My friend lives up that way. We're gonna go visit him, but we gotta get this thing fixed right now because before Clary heads off to the market in the morning <coughs> because this tire on the right side at the rear is getting a little warmer and it's gonna take a bit longer to get home as we have to let her cool down a bit or drive with less brakes because um, the more we break the the more we break the hotter it gets the hotter it gets the more chance for damage it gets so we are gonna get going here and it's eight to ten percent grades so it's kind of hard to not have huge brakes yeah we need to use the brakes so um very cool place we'll definitely be back here because it doesn't take too much to get out here but we need to uh fixing the brakes again or checking the brakes over so we're gonna head home but there's a forest fire up that way still burning just south of Ephraim's farm so we're gonna head out oh, I think it's up on that hill right there ah, he'll let me know that definitely looks like a forest fire up on that hill so there's the helicopters right there I said I told you I saw some that one's getting ready to go Yep, she's starting to spool up. Kill. Cool. Start to hear those turbines and the hydraulics whine. Whee! So, black comb helicopters. Oh, interesting. Black fire rescue. Oh. So, we're out of here. We're heading up. Uh, yes, we got to get this thing fixed here. And we've got another uh, two hours to get home. Three hours to get home. So, the time is now... 4.13, so we've got 6.13, so I'll say 6.37. And then we've got to feed the monsters. And then we've got to pull this wheel on the backside off and make sure what the heck's going on in there. So, yeah, we would have head that way. We'll do that later. Maybe not on video, because we don't need to do a lot. So, there's the vineyard again that goes to... So, we're off. We've got to get this dealt with. The joys of vehicle ownership is they are a non-stop issue. So, anyways, uh, probably not much to go unless something drastic happens here. Otherwise, we'll be uh, at home next we do um, video, right? Sure. I don't think anything else new is going to show up here. Unless something drastic happens. Wave goodbye to Fatso and Squirrely and Luna on the way by. But you guys don't need to see that. They're just another... 10 kilometers on this road. Yeah, about that. yeah. We'll see them later. So, yeah, back at home. So we made it home. Uh, I mentioned one of the this wheel was getting really hot. Uh, I think it's because I just pulled the wheels all off and did a check. That wheel bearing has failed. I didn't check that 100% when I was cranking through this morning. So I think that's one problem. Because uh, I was checking the wheels, the hubs when we were driving, so that one side I think was getting hotter. Well, it was getting hotter than this side, so it's either a stuck caliper. But I think with the wheel bearing failed, because I did check the calipers and they seemed to be working good. And this side was squeak, squeak, squeaking. It's because the e-brakes inside those those shoes were adjusted for the worn drums. Um, well, I guess the worn rotors, rotor drum, and I think they were too far out and they were rubbing and causing a bit of a squeak. Um, there's also a, a dust shield on the inside. It might've also been rubbing on. So I kind of tapped that out quick here in the dark, trying to crank it out as fast as I can. Can't drive it around here right now and check anything cause it's too late. So we'll send Carrie down tomorrow to the market. If the squeak comes back, then yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, I might get hammer happy or I might just leave it until something wears through because it's just a dust shield that's wearing on the inside. This tin stuff here, this, that thing there might be rubbing in this hat area. So 
Uh, we're not gonna worry about that terribly much unless it really gets annoying. But that bearing we gotta get done sooner than later because if that's generating heat, that's gonna warp that rotor too bad. And then if it gets too bad and your wheel starts flippy flopping, you can lose a wheel. So we'll deal with that later, but the brakes are working stellar. Um, they're free flowing, the calipers don't seem stuck. I checked all that. The wear is fairly even, not that you're gonna tell a lot of wear, but if one side's burning out, so that's good. Trip went good. Um, Carrie's just market, vacuuming this out so that we can load, we can't see nothing. The freezers and everything in here again. So I will let her know and we'll just be done for the night here and this video can get edited and then the one for the brakes can get edited. What miles are we at on this? It says gas cap. All right, 292,624. So, yeah, hey, done for the day? Yeah, but we're done. We can close the one out for delivering those guys. Um, there's just one U left, is there? Just one U. And then that's it. Everybody that's for sale is sold. Yep. So, good for the night. We're good. That's yeah. delivery. Have fun. See you guys later. Like and subscribe. Yeah, do that. I never mentioned that, so do that. Okay. We're going to load this. See you guys on the next video.